Citing the rise in opioid drug use, White House spokesperson Sean Spicer said on Thursday that he expects greater enforcement of federal marijuana laws, even in states where it has been legalized. Industry experts are still waiting for what that will mean, since as a candidate, Donald Trump said marijuana was an issue best left to the states. Craig, was this a good, a, a productive way for Sean Spicer to head, seeing where we are as a country right now with so many 28 states legalizing some form of marijuana and public opinion being overwhelmingly for it? Was this a, a wise move for Spicer? Sean Spicer says a lot of things in unusual ways. And again, this reflected sort of grief for madness, comparing marijuana to the opioid epidemic. Uh, but at the same time, Donald Trump, his boss, has been all over the place. The new attorney general, Jeff Sessions, is a warrior against marijuana, so better get ready, Colorado and other states. The other thing you have to note about Donald Trump, he tends to like the states that voted for him and disfavor the states that voted against him. Colorado voted against him, California, Massachusetts, which is legalized Oregon, marijuana, Washington. Oregon, Washington. So <laughs> is he capable of retaliating? I don't know. Seems to me if they crack down on marijuana, then he's throwing away any opportunity to win in 2020 because marijuana is uh, more popular than Donald Trump in Colorado, according to the electorate. So we'll see what they do. You know, the fix, as Jared Polis uh, put out in a bulletin last night, is to change the law. It's ridiculous that marijuana remains a Schedule One controlled substance on a par with heroin and uh, other really bad drugs that can kill you. So the, the Congress may need to weigh in, and it really will be interesting to see if the federal government wants to crack down, do they really have the resources to do it as far as Colorado has grown. Two years ago at CPAC, Donald Trump told Sean Hannity, Colorado has a lot of problems. But then as the election came up, he reversed himself and said it's a states' rights issue. He said that to Brandon Ritterman, among others. So Donald Trump's been all over the place, and maybe this was a trial balloon to see what's happening, but I'm sure it uh, scared a lot of people who are now in the cannabis industry. All, almost, what, $1.5 billion worth uh, just in Colorado? It should be interesting to watch. Uh, Joey, was there a response from lawmakers on Capitol Hill that um, that you think is, uh, <laughs> when, we get, when the camera gets what? back on you, I think we'll, we'll, you okay. can do that part again, so then folks will get the joke. Uh, it was, what was the response on Capitol Hill from what we saw from Sean Spicer? Not a lot. I mean, come on, Sean Spicer and Kelly Conway say things that, that the administration doesn't support in a matter of hours. You know, what this was was a big bologna sandwich for Trump supporters and people who oppose marijuana. But it's way too hard to unwind these 28 states that have these laws in place. You know, the government will be in court forever. You know, and, and sure, Trump is going to put his own imprint on this issue, the same way the Obama administration did with the coal memo. And that's all it is. I, uh, I, you know, this is a whole lot of hot air about nothing. I don't, I don't think Colorado laws are going to change. You know, Donald Trump was very clear during the election that he's a states' rights guy. And what Sean Spicer said, if you really look at it, you know, the media likes to overreact to everything out of the Trump administration. I think if you really look at it, yes, he opened the door for this discussion, but he didn't say they were going to do it. It. And, uh, you know, they can bogart this issue if they want to. I'm going to go have a bag of Oreos. <laughs> you saw that part coming. Uh, Noel, uh, do you think the tie to opioid use was the irresponsible part of this whole announcement? Yes. I don't know what much more I can say about that. I think that there's a big difference between uh, smoking a joint and uh, shooting up heroin. Um, the heroin, yes, that's a huge problem. Um, Heroin overdoses and opi prescription opioid overdoses are skyrocketing. Um, we, we're not seeing that with marijuana. Yeah, there's some stupid things that happen when people uh, use a little too much, but nowhere near uh, dying in the streets or at home in the bathroom. And so, yeah, that that was there was no need for that. Patty, uh, candidate Donald Trump says it's a state issue. President Donald Trump's spokesperson says it's just like heroin. Uh, we really don't know where it's going to go. If uh, if you are uh, at least uh, sought, if people from the cannabis industry here in Colorado seek your advice of what you think is going to happen, what's your take? Buy a lot of ads really quickly. You know, and then there's <laughs> Jeff Sessions who likes the KKK, thinks they're just okay guys until he finds out they smoke pot. 
I think we have to go back to Donald Trump saying it's a state's rights issue. That's the one he came out with, and we've certainly done our research on this, this issue, but that's the one he seems to have held to most consistently, and I think that's the one he will stay with. I cannot imagine they would try to do anything against the 28 states that have legalized medical marijuana. It's the ones where there is rec legalized that if they really were trying to do something, maybe it'd be there. But I think right now they will let it be a state's issue. And Sean Spicer has just given Melissa McCarthy plenty of new material because in Colorado, one of the few states where opioid use is down. Marijuana has affected it in a good way if it's affected it at all.